Hong Kong, as those that know a bit of regional history can testify, is the island that was ceded to the British after the First Opium War during the Qing Dynasty. What we commonly dub Hong Kong actually comprises more than the island of its namesake. In fact, the SAR includes Kowloon and the New Territories, and it is off the latter that we find most of the territories outlying islands. Little known, about 263 islands are peppering the waters at the mouth of the Pearl River. Many of these isles are mere rocks, or due to poor transport links, remain largely underdeveloped. Some, however, are easily accessible via ferry and offer a taste of tradition and nature mostly lost in the high-rise forests of Central and Kowloon. Here are three islands you should visit in Hong Kong. Pen Chao claims to have the lowest crime rate in Hong Kong. Not the most difficult of feats, given its permanent population of 5,000 is surrounded by water. But its quiet isolation is Pen Chao's charm, a well-earned respite from the clamor of Hong Kong city life. There is little tourist industry to speak of. Finger Hill is the island's highest point and offers a fun hike. From 95 meters, views of neighboring Lantau as well as Hong Kong Island in the distance are staggering. At sea level, the beach at Teng Wan is perfect for a secluded dip. The island is also peppered with shines dedicated to Ting Hao, the goddess of the sea. You'll find a few restaurants and bars should you need refreshments, but nothing too touristy. From the sleepy fishing hamlet of Sokwa Wan, a wonderful footpath winds its way across the island past secluded beaches and through quaint villages. North of the most commercialized beach, Hun Xin Ye, you'll find another ferry port, Yuan Xie Wan. Here, a community of left field expatriates live alongside local fishers. They're a hospitable bunch, keen to show off their alternative way of life and enjoy a few hearty drinks with visitors to the island in the various western style pubs established around town. Veggie restaurants and shops are plenty, making Yuan Xie Wan a magnet for those eagerly escaping the mercantile madness in places like Mong Kok. Chen Chao, the Long Island, is more dumbbell shaped. The north and south are both granite hills bound together by a flat and narrow center where most houses are located in Chen Chao Wan. The village is home to a deep sea fishing fleet, so it's not surprising that the harbor is crammed with seafood restaurants. From the outside, visitors are greeted by rows of stalls selling shell necklaces and dried fish, but a short walk in any direction sees the crowd swifting dispatch. Bicycles are available to hire and provide an excellent means to get about. Highlights include some of the historic temples scattered around the island, including Pak Tai Temple, one of the oldest Taoist shrines in Hong Kong. Teng Wan Beach is ideal for windsurfing and home of the 1996 Olympic gold medal winner Li Lai Shen. No bout of sightseeing in Chen Chao would be complete without snapping some of the island's oddly shaped rocks. The rock of the ringing bell and human head rock demand a fair old trek along the coastal path, but stunning sea views make it worth the effort. Additionally, Chen Chao's east coast is also home to a 3,000-year-old megalithic carved rock, which was made a protected monument of Hong Kong in 1982. Want to visit Hong Kong's islands? Click the link on the screen or in the description down below to customize your own dream tour. And don't forget to subscribe for more great videos about China.